Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you something that I noticed about asteroid Asclepius and the healer star, this Asclepius energy coming through available to the collective right now in a very powerful way. So I was not planning on recording this video. This morning I was recording a Reiki journey to Tau Ceti star in Cetus constellation. And right now the north node of the moon has been conjunct Alpharat star in Andromeda constellation as well as Tau Ceti star in Cetus constellation. Chiron has also been conjunct both of those stars and the energy of Asclepius came in so strongly and some of you may be familiar with the Asclepius myth but he was a very very gifted healer with an interesting birth story about how he came to be born and was eventually taken in by Chiron the gifted healer teacher mentor, guide, and was trained as an apprentice under Chiron and became very, very skilled in his healing ability and working with serpents and serpent energy, snake energy, and really tapping into some very, very deep and powerful healing gifts, so much so he was able to cure the sick and those with various illnesses and ailments, and he was even able to bring back beings from the dead. So humans who had died, the deceased, bringing them back. So he he had crossed the limitation between mortality and immortality, and this very much angered the gods, which caused Zeus to actually strike him down with lightning and kill him. He was a mortal who was helping mortals essentially be immortal where there was not that limitation of the time frame of human life, the finality, the finitude. So very, very interesting healer energy, extremely powerful. And he was worshipped in temples across Greece. So there were many, many temples where people would come from all over the region and spend the night in these temples after many different purification ceremonies and preparations to spend time in the temples of Asclepius. And they would fall asleep in the temples and have these powerful dreams where they were often contacted by and met up with Asclepius in the dream time and received healing within the dream time. And then in the next days following this temple experience, they may have been miraculously cured, cured completely, or the priests of the temple would go ahead and carry out additional rituals and additional instructions that were received from the person's time within the temple. So in this Reiki journey, <laughs> the Asclepius energy came in so strongly and so powerfully that I was guided to look at where is asteroid Asclepius. I'm aware that there's an asteroid called Asclepius. Maybe some of you are. And lo and behold, Asclepius asteroid is currently right in between the north node of the moon in Aries and Chiron in Aries. So the Asclepius energy is helping us with our soul growth, our healing right now, like very, very strongly, very powerfully. And so I invite you, if you're a healer, a light worker, if you're just curious, you can look and see where is asteroid Asclepius in your chart is number 4581 here, and you can plug that into astro.com in the extended chart selection and see where that asteroid is in your own 
natal chart? Is it conjunct one of your planets, one of your angles? Is it standing out? If you are a student or practitioner of galactic astrology, you can also look at is it conjunct any stars, any of the cosmic super points? You can get very, very interesting in this way looking at this asteroid Asclepius. But for all of us right now, Asclepius, the healer, this incredibly powerful healing energy is with us healing our deepest wounds, healing in our dream time as well. I just uploaded and shared the Pisces new moon galactic astrology reading. And I remember saying, you know, even if you're not remembering your dreams, or you're not writing them down, the healing is happening in your dreams. And seeing Asclepius here in between Chiron and the North Node, I can say there's actual astrological evidence that this is occurring. So we are very much being supported in our dream time. And if you are guided to try and remember your dreams or write them down, you might want to, especially right now in this time leading up to the Pisces new moon. Now, there's another way this Asclepius energy can come through the natal chart, through the transits as well, and that is through the constellation Ophiuchus and the star Razelhag. And this is the healer star. This star is at 22 degrees and 47 minutes of Sagittarius zodiac sign. So in this particular chart, it's in the latter degrees of Sagittarius. And if you have this appearing, well, let's say you pull up a chart like this, a natal chart, and you have a planet or point that's conjunct 2247 of Sagittarius, then you know this healer star energy, this is a star of dignity, is strong and powerful for you. And you can even look at this in your chart. Where is this star in your chart? Which house is it in? Which house are you receiving this healing, these frequencies of healing and transformation and even resurrection? You can take a look at that. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the galactic chart just for easy reference. You can create an awesome galactic astrology chart just like this at the website galacticastrochart.com for free. I highly recommend that you do this. And if you want to know where is the healer star in your chart, do you have any alignments? You can check and see you're looking for this light purple color and it says Ophiuchus constellation and it'll either say conjunct, opposite, sextile, trine or square, Razzlehag star. And then you can know, okay, my ascendant is conjunct, Razzlehag, or my moon is opposite, Razzlehag and so on. So you can find it that way and see if you have any conjunct or opposite alignments. These would be very powerful alignments. This would be indicative of healing gifts that you have. Sextiles, trines, squares, the minor aspects would suggest that you have these healing frequencies flowing to you and through you in the form of guides and different people you meet upon your path, spirit guides, non-physical guides, or if it's a square that you are being challenged in a specific life area to undergo and engage actively with a particular type of healing. Perhaps you're needing to make a healing action or you're needing to undergo a healing transformation in your thinking or your level of consciousness. So you can check and see where is Ophiuchus, where is Razzlehag in your chart for more clues about this. So that's all for today. I just wanted to share about Asclepius and Ophiuchus and Razzlehag and just let y'all know that this energy, we are really having a lot of healing support in the collective and it's like the really deep unconscious 
deep, deep, deep soul level healing support that we are receiving. So just know that, be gentle with yourself and understand that this process is taking place. Again, it could be very subconscious, unconscious, like you don't even know what's going on. You're just really in it and you're really being supported. So I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. And I will talk to you soon. Hopefully see you at a distant Reiki share. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.